Hold on. I think I left some music playing and it might be on the video. So then all you would hear is some lovely spa music. <laughs> Head up all right. I'm waiting. On your table of contents, number 29, um, we are taking a look at multiplication and division equations. So give it a title. Maria, where's your notes? Put your page number and then turn to that page. Give your page a title and the page number. multiplication and these are some problems you might have seen on your homework last night so this might be a little helpful for those of you with late homework um, so if we're starting with 5 8 and it's time some number so this is our missing factor equals 20 40 Basically, what we're doing is we're going to be using the inverse operation. Inverse means opposite. So everybody, what's the opposite of multiplication? Division. Good. So we're going to be using division to help us problem solve. Okay, guys, what's going on back there? Okay. All right. So. Basically, what this is saying is 5 times what number equals 20? Because when we multiply straight across, um, that's how we solve multiplication problems, right? So in your head, you're really thinking 20 divided by 5 is 4. Okay. So I can check that and say 5 times 4 is 20. So now you're thinking 8 times what number is 40? I want to know what the inverse is. Don't tell me the answer. What is our inverse? Okay, hey, Murdoch. If I want the inverse of multiplication, what operation is that? Yes. 40 divided by 8 gives me 5. So I can check to see if that's correct. 5 times 4 is 20. 8 times 5 is 40. So that's all that they want you to do. Is using that inverse operation to find your missing factor. Okay. Kristen, come sit on the floor up here. All right. Then we have the opposite. We had division problem. So we're going to take the same problem and we're going to take 20 40th divided by a missing factor equals. Oh, that was just to 
subtract. So we can set it by doing that. Right? No. It would have to be. Oh, that's what it is. You're right. Okay. So we can check using division. So 2040 is divided by 5 8 equals. Right? Yep. So if I do my division, though, I'm going to do it times the reciprocal. Let me see if that works. Oh, that does work. Oh, I love it when that works out the way it was supposed to. <laughs> okay, so I want to show you a little shortcut. When you're doing fractions and you're simplifying, if you have like 160 and 200 and you have zeros that line up, it's kind of like dividing by 10. You can just cross them out. So then I made it 1620th, and I divided by 4 instead of 160 and 200. But they have to line up. Okay. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys that part. So let's go ahead and let's do a little warm-up problem. So, I have a problem-solving problem for you. And I want you guys to write it down along with me. So, let's say, let's say Allison can run three eight and put five cool cats on my desk. Yes, you do have to write this down. Allison can run three sevenths of the field. This is four fifths of the distance that Allison's older sister can run. Can Allison's older sister run? with a problem solving like a story like this, we need to stop and think. What are the facts in the problem? What do I already know? So what do I already know, guys? Dominic. That Allison can run three of the football field. Okay, so we know that if I have a football field, I know that Allison can make it to three seven, right? So I could say maybe that line is three seven. Yes. What else do we do we know? What's our other fact? So much. Um, well, isn't that the question's asking? Are you sure? Oh, it's asking how far Allison You just told me four fifths. Read this sentence again. Mm -hmm. Sophie? Um, I mean, uh, that, um, Allison do, well, that, uh, um, Allison do her pants run for six times. Okay, Jackson? Um, that Allison's older sister can run for six of what Allison do. Right. 
So, well, this, this number is four fifths of how far she can run. So, Allison's sister, um, she can run maybe this far, let's say. We don't know because that's what the problem wants us to find out. But her sister can run four fifths of what Allison can do. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to figure out what three seven what divided by four fifths. Because we want to know what is four fifths of thirty seven. Not thirty seven. Three seven. Okay. So I'm going to use my KCF, which another word for KCF would be unsimplifying, which is what our learning target is today. Unsimplifying is a fancy word for finding that reciprocal and doing our little strategy. So I'm going to keep three sevens. I'm going to change division to multiplication. And then I'm going to flip or find the reciprocal, good job you guys, of four fifths. What's the reciprocal of four fifths? Trey? Um, yep, you just flip it. Then I just multiply straight across. So everybody, what's three times five? Seven, and what is seven times four? Okay. Can I reduce or simplify either of those numbers? Yes. Yes. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. What are you thinking? Joey, what are you thinking? Okay, 14 doesn't go into 15 evenly. Fine. Five doesn't go into 28 evenly. Becca? Three. Three doesn't go into 28 evenly. Is this simplified? Yes. Yes. So I need to write my answer. Allison's older sister can run 15 28 of the scale. So that would be my answer. Okay, without talking, I would like, oh, I didn't tell you who, I would like the green triangle group, all you need is a pencil, head to the table without talking, 